bounds if you truly want to lose weight. Our expert here tonight says it is about more than just the foods that you eat or don't eat. She's here to talk about your core. And she doesn't mean your abs. I want to welcome Valda Ford to the show. Thank you, Brigitte. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, she is a women's health and sexuality expert. Sounds like a really interesting topic. Um, it, you said it's a program. Yes. The Big Girl's Guide to Weight Loss. So what is the number one problem that you see among women who are trying to lose weight? The number one problem is they get so caught up in their weight that they won't actually go out and start. They're ashamed. They won't get the clothing. They feel like if they go to the gym, people will make fun of them. So instead of saying, I don't care who they are worrying about, I am worrying about me. Hmm. And so you can be big, you can be healthy, you can be smart. And that's what I want people to think about. Okay. Uh, many women can be in the pursuit of the perfect body, but you say that could actually be harmful to our mental health, relationships, and our careers. Why? Well, what is the perfect body? When we think about the perfect body, we think about what models look like. And that's really not even real. A model is typically a size zero to a double zero. The average woman in the U.S. is a size 12 to 14. And if we're trying to look like the people who are the models, who are starving themselves, who are not eating at all, then we're not being healthy. They aren't even healthy. Mm -hmm. So just decide who you are, what set point you're going to be at, and make sure that you're the healthiest person at that weight. Oh, okay. Um, did you have your, I guess I'm wondering what inspired you to, to start this program. Personal experience? Absolutely. I was a tomboy, homecoming queen, always the skinny one. My great-grandmother was always feeding me biscuits, hoping that I'd get bigger. <laughs> and guess what? I did. Oh. And so the point is, at first I was ashamed. But when I decided I would do it, I went in in a sneaky little way. I went in where the seniors were. Hopefully they were not worried about their body and they wouldn't worry about mine. Now, I can swim for a mile. I can walk for seven miles. And there are not many people my size who can do that. And there are not many people of any size who mm. can do it. And people are always surprised that I am as healthy as I am. But it's because I decided I'm worth more than my waist. I'm worth more than my size because I have decided I will be healthy no matter the weight. Okay, okay. So how can women turn their thinking around? Just look in the mirror every day and say, I am beautiful and what I have is what I'm going to work with. Just get up, get going, be smart. You can do all of the other things like eating right and exercising, but first you have to decide that you are worth it. And wherever you are, is where you need to start and you can get there you didn't gain weight quickly and you won't lose it quickly or if you do you'll just get it back yeah amen to that so just pat yourself on the back if no one else will find a team of people who support you and you can do this okay anything else you wanted to add I just want to say that people worry about their size even from from a romantic standpoint but people who love you love all the curves, and they know how to rock them right where they are. There you have it. Uh, for more information on how to con uh, contact Valda, you can log on to WBTV.com. Be sure to look in the Web Extra section. It's right there on the homepage. Uh, Valda Ford, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. And uh, for a different perspective on this, we appreciate it. I appreciate having you. All right. I want to get